How's that feel to be wearing that white jersey? Uh, it's good. I was in black today. Oh, black. Sorry. Black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it feels good. I mean, uh, anytime you're out for an extended period of time, you, you get the itch to get back with your teammates on the ice and in, uh, in a position to, to you know, practice fully. It feels good. You cherish those relationships and... You miss a lot of you, uh, you've come back from injuries so before. It's, it's, it's just the timing, basically it, and just kind of, is that what it is, kind of adapting yeah. back? Yeah, it's just the timing. I mean, you know, we have uh, a great strength and conditioning program here where we're able to uh, keep our conditioning up, and um, although there's nothing like actually playing in a game, uh, you get as close to it as possible. And, uh, from there on out, it's just timing and, and getting your feet to, you know, back underneath you. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. What did you think of the way Grizz handled playing you out? How Grizz played out there? Well, he's he's always good. I mean, uh, he's a guy that I think is undervalued on this team, uh, maybe from an outsider's perspective. But uh, when he's, you know, in our lineup, he, he changes the complexion of the back end. Uh, the way he skates, moves the puck, he's a, a great player for us, and you know, we're very lucky to have him. Yeah, I think he's good. I mean, uh, he's kind of behind Heino in front. He's kind of behind it all, but yeah, it, it was good. I mean, uh, a big body that uh, doesn't get knocked off the puck and uh, competes really hard. He's doing a great job in front, uh, collecting pucks uh, after our initial shot and then making plays from there. So uh, I think he's been good at just watching from from uh, the stands. I think he's done a great job of making the plays. Is he really the guy? I mean, it's going to happen. He just really knows what you would prefer to do, like what your two games options are in the same thing with the four lines. There's a play design, like go to him. No, there, there is. There is. I mean, we just haven't, haven't been able to connect on it this year. I think, uh, you know, you watch the last two years, we, we've had great plays in the net front that end up in goals. And I think just this year, for whatever reason, we haven't been able to convert on that. So uh, we're still trying. I mean, uh, It'll come, and, and once we do, now we have a, another great option to, to throw into our bag of tricks. So you get a chance, you know, when you watch up top there or on TV, whatever you're doing, but you can kind of, it's a slower game, obviously. And if you look back to some of those games before you got hurt, the team kind of acknowledged they're having a little trouble pushing out of the zone. What did you think of the way in the last few games the transition game went? It's been okay. I mean, uh, at times it's been really good, and other times it's been... Um, kind of poor. So, um, but when you when you do get a chance to watch from up top, uh, and if you really focus and you're actually trying to learn from watching instead of just uh, taking in the game or not really paying attention, it shows you what your options are. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, when you see something from up top and you get on the ice, it's a different vantage point. But you know that it's open. You might not see it right away, but all of a sudden you're learning the, the spots that players are and, and what plays are available. So. Um, yeah, it's been, like I said, good at times, and I think the guys are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with the puck and uh, comfortable jumping up in the play, and uh, you know, some, some D have scored some great goals. Uh, as well. You must be a minor, because I was going to ask, you know, when you're out, do you, do you make a point to kind of take some mental notes when you're watching up top? Or, yeah, Some guys just take it in, you know? Yeah, I know, always. I always... I enjoy watching from up top. And, uh, you know, it's a... I take a lot of pride in like knowing where every single pl player is on the ice, not just um, our five guys, but also their five guys. And uh, you realize where the blind plays are are available. And um, the more and more you watch, the more you learn, and the more that you realize you can make those plays in, in certain situations. So uh, I think it's as long as you're up there and, and you're focused and you're trying to learn, uh, you can take a lot of things out of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.